Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel Ingenious Mac Tech. I hope you are feeling well and doing all the good things. Today we are starting our new course, the course of engineering, drawing and graphics. This is a very interesting course. In this course, we will discuss about introduction, drawing instrument and how to use the drawing instrument, lines, lettering, dimensioning, planning of and drawing of sheets, geometrical constructions, orthographic projection, projection of points, projection of straight lines, projection of planes, projection of solids, development of surfaces and how to make a freehand sketches and also the drawing, drawing sheets. I will recommend you some books uh, we will follow here in our course the book Andy Bart by Andy Bart. The name of book is Elementary Engineering Drawing and author is Andy Bart. And all you can also use all of these books but it is I am using this one. We will start from our first topic. The first topic is drawing instruments. Don't go on the lecture number. It is for someone else you will focus on this topic drawing instruments in in this topic we will cover objectives in drawings and how drawing instrument is used there are some objectives in the drawing that that must be achieved by the individual who is making an engineering drawing first one is accuracy that the drawing must be accurate according to the need of some uh, some client also the speed for example you if you make accurate drawings but you have less speed then you are a slow person you must increase the speed also legibility it's also the kind of uh, it's kind of uh, neat ne neatness it is also the neatness but legibility is the neatness in dimensions and how you will present a diagram or drawing. This is first of all we will discuss some instruments. This is a drawing table. You must see sometimes in your drawing labs but if you don't this is a structure of drawing table. There is a board on it and we will place our paper or drawing sheet on it and also there are some holding places for the pencils and also for the paper and sometimes it's upon you that you would add a lamp on it or not the next one is t square t square is a very important tool in the drawing instruments because there are many purposes we can make uh, we can make a 90 degree angle from it these are made from hardwoods and this is for hanging on nails these areas are transparent plastic edges with the scaling on it and also permit to see through it this is the total length of the t square from here to here this is the working edge and this is slide on the table this is basically the drawing table this can be slide up and down up and down with the help of this so this is the t-square next is working edge of the t-square and this is the drawing board this is this is the way that we will check the angle of the sheet let's see have a look here there is a gap it means that the sheet is not in its accurate position so this is we have to adjust it for accuracy this is also an error advice error first of all you make a line then you will again make the same line but there is some up and down this is because you have you uh, you will make some mistake that uh, you displace your t square this is the way you will add a sheet on your drawing board first of all make a one centimeter mark or any measurement mark you make then pla uh, place the paper on it and stick it with some sticky agent like tape scotch tape or anything else 
these are the set squares most of you know that what is set squares but if you don't set squares are the triangle like scales in one is 45 and triangle two are 45 one is 90 and the other one is 30 60 and 90 so these are the if from the use of the set squares we can make different angles uh, by placing it over here or it over here these are all the things we can make 45 degrees from this one and 30 degree with this one drawing pencils now moving toward drawing there are different kinds of drawing pencils these these are the scaling of the drawing pencils 9h 8h 7h 6h 5h 4h 3h 2h h f h b and b and then it's going to work 2b 3b 4b 5b 6b and 7b these are the smooth thin lead pencils these are the mechanical pencils and these are the drawing pencils having sharp conical point and this thin lead require no sharpening these are the different types of lead pencils that are used in the drawing you have to use this region for your initial initial now how to use the pencil in a good way in an accurate way hold the pencil with three fingers which one the your uh, your index index finger your middle finger and your thumb grip the pencil with these three fingers and also tilt the pencil along a scale at the 60 degree like this like this you can see this is tilted at the 60 degree angle never make the pencil exact normal or for further greater than the 90 degree this is not the good if you moving upward then tilt the uh, pencil 60 degree in above direction like this and this is the position of your you use the set squares in different way for example move t square and triangle to line up with the ab this is the movement of and t square set squares and all the things slide triangles along the square like this way this without move uh, without displacing this one draw required line parallel to tab then this line is drawn and then parallel line here is also drawn these are all the use we can also use it with the triangle triangles 45 degree or 30 degree triangles this is the uses of set skills now next we can make a 90 degree by placing a 45 degree triangle on a 30 degree triangle and also in in different way by placing a 45 degree on the other one these are all the some things that we are used that are tricks to make different angles without having a protector now this is a normal line from the t-square and then if we place over it there is an angle that is 30 degree so these are all the uses of set squares you have to see these are different angles 75 degrees 60 45 30 15 horizontal and all those angles you can see it by yourself i hope you will understand how to use set skills now move towards scales set of cardboard scales for reducing and increasing sizes and diagonal scale for measuring fractions now there is a drawing box in which there are different compasses and pointers using of compasses and other things also pencil and eraser pencil eraser scientific calculators are also used sometimes tapes are adhesive tapes are must be used sharpener are also used frequently tissue papers must be kept also pencil 
pouch pencil pouch and also a four size papers and how to keep your drying clean do hand wash use of tissue paper is also an important thing use scales and t square in a good manner also use set squares in a good manner and uh, which things are avoided never pu uh, put extra material on your sheet never do this like things on your sheet and never put your hands upon your sheet so i hope you will understand you had already understood that what is the purpose of drawing instruments how to use drawing instruments and how to keep a drawing clean how to make different angles with the set square if you have any queries any ambiguities don't hesitate to ask just feel free to do comment in the comment box if you have any questions if you have any questions tell me and if you don't have any questions have you cleared then do subscribe my channel ingenious mac tech till then we will see you in the next video next chapter next topic Till then, take care. Bye-bye.